It's a little hot. Oh, oh! You are not kidding on that. If you've ever found yourself hungry for a delicious meal but were low on time with minimal ingredients, stick around because today we're getting creative. It's time for Nickel and Dimes. All right, so check it out. Not only are we pinching pennies today, but we're actually pinching time. So I asked a mythical crew member to surprise me with four ingredients, pulled at random out of their freezer that I will use to make a bomb.com tasty dish in less than 30 minutes. Today's crew member is known around here for his love of methodical trivia gameplay, and I'm pretty sure he eats Popeyes at least four times a week. Dave and Jen, let's see what's in that freezer. All right, I'm about to head to the mythical kitchen, and Josh has asked me to surprise him with a few ingredients from my own freezer. Let's see what I got. All right, we got some outshine fruit bores. That's a nice sweet treat to have. We got some frozen peas, some frozen chicken. We got some homemade ice creams by Nick Novak. We got also some, let's see, Brussels sprouts, some more chicken. Oh, uh, yo, we also got nuggets and burritos. This is tough, but I think I know what I'm gonna bring. Oh boy, David, there uh, there it is, huh? It is right there. All right, well, before we get into that, thank you so much for joining me as my first ever guest on the Nickel and Dime Challenge. Didn't Lucas, was that really Lucas? I have no idea who Lucas is. Anyways, we have basic pantry staples over there. We also got our fridge loaded up with just some normal ingredients. And so we're gonna put 30 minutes on the clock, but you and I are also gonna take a three minute brainstorming session to figure out how we can tag team this dish together. Oh, we're tag teaming this. We're tag teaming this. I thought I was here to judge. No, 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 you're my sous chef today, baby. We're working hey. this together. Okay. You ready to get into it? Yeah, I, I, I chose these ingredients and I didn't know I was gonna cook it. So. All right, <laughs> move that bus! Who's driving the bus? It's just a thing you say on TV. It's showbiz, it's a showbiz term. No, it's not! All right, let's see what's in the bag. David, okay. what's in the bag? Today, what's in the bag? I have Brad Pitt. What's in the bag? Brad Pitt, yeah. I got a frozen piece. I tend to use those as ice packs on my body. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But then um, it heats them up, but then I still put them back in the freezer and eat them. Right. It's just a real thing that I do. I got frozen burritos that I don't know how long it has been in my freezer. Uh, even if it's freezer burnt, there's a way to save a frozen burrito, and I love that we're just gonna be using that as an ingredient. Love it. Uh, chicken. Classic chicken it's, breast. Um, you know, it's that classic. That looks classic. freezer burnt as well. I love that. <laughs> I love that. And finally, you know, some Oh, sweet the old chopped basket twist with the popsicles. Yeah. I thought it was gonna, you know, give you a challenge. I didn't realize I was gonna cooking with you. This is your challenge yeah. now, too. Okay, you officially yeah. made this difficult. All right. David, let's figure out what we do. We got okay. three minutes, we got three minutes? Yeah. Time, go. all right, David, uh, what, what do you like to eat, man? What do, what, what what do, do I like thinking? to what eat? Do you think? um, what do you think? I know you love fried chicken. I like fried chicken, Popeyes. That might be tough to do yeah. in, in the time constraints yeah. oh, that we yeah, have. It's also um, freezer burned, you know how long. Yeah, yeah. If I'm looking at this, mm -hmm. I'm immediately thinking of cooking techniques that we can apply. So peas, of course, you can just like throw them in some butter, it's pretty delicious, but a pea puree is a great way to sort of like elevate a dish. You can add flavors there, herbs, turn it yeah. into a sauce. I'm just gonna write down potential. Pea puree. Pea puree. And then. Okay. Burrito, if you're doing some sort of vegetable dish, you can like get this crispy like a chimichanga, mm -hmm. and then you can use that as some sort of like a crouton. Popsicles, popsicles, popsicles. If you think about what's in a popsicle, this is pretty much, this is a natural stuff. I love that you- Strawberries. You natural. Strawberries yeah. the main ingredient, and like fruit can be used in a sauce. So I'm thinking like, we got pea puree, we got maybe like crispy burrito. Crispy burrito. Crispy burrito. Mm. Chicken, I mean, I'm thinking we could do some sort of like, Orange chicken style thing. It'll be red chicken with the strawberry. I think that'd be good. Yeah. But what I'm thinking. Look, you got red color. You got green color. You got. I like that you're just thinking about orange. this from a visual perspective. It's you're all just like, how do we? This food is, is art. Business. This is this show, is show business. It's all about the colors. <laughs> to try and elevate this, I think we can combine more ingredients than this, so we can fit this burrito. I think we can fit it inside the chicken. The burrito inside think, the chicken. I think. Screw all this. I think Whoa. we go. He just crossed everything on that Boom. list. Boom! Scrap it. How much time? Time. Oh, oh God! Uh, burrito chicken. There's something called a, a ballotine or a galantine. It's like a first year culinary school thing that I never did. But you basically like roll stuff inside chicken and then yeah. poach it. So a I think we're gonna do poach burrito it, okay. chicken ballotine. Peas might do a puree. Might be a way. We don't really have a starch. Burrito chicken ballotine glaze. Strawberry. We can use the starch from the from the tortilla. I think we should leave this inside because okay. there's not a lot of way okay. to separate yeah, 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 yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strawberry. I agree. I agree. Pea puree. Pea thing. We can yes. make pea puree. We could also add the peas as some sort of a starch. We can do some sort of like pea pastry. How about pea we crepe. put the pea, the pea in the chicken with the burrito? No, because you're gonna want the peas to sort of act as a condiment for this. The burrito's going inside the chicken. The glaze is going on top of this. And the peas, I think this needs to be some sort of a main starch. Okay, for I the dish. Oh God! Oh, God. Well, you got an air horn for this, you weirdos? Too Are you loud. kidding me? Clock's running, oh David. My. I'm gonna turn all the burners on high. David, what I need you to do, throw this chicken. We need to puncture it so it doesn't explode. Okay. Thumb strike. 
Almost got it. Can you go ahead and put this uh, in the microwave on defrost okay. for about five minutes? I also need you to, David, burrito! I need you to throw that burrito in there. I'm gonna start getting pots of water going because all I know is I need to get those peas. I need to get the peas boiling. You said defrost the burrito? Yeah, yeah, open it up. But uh, yeah, put it in with the chicken. Just just throw it in there okay, for like six minutes. Okay. I'm gonna start getting this glaze going because I know I'm probably gonna need to reduce these popsicles. So all I'm gonna do, I'm throwing the popsicle right into the pan. I'm gonna start getting that. We'll see, we probably will need to thin that out. I'm gonna wanna hit that with like, I don't know, some sort of aromatic, Josh, some sort I of savory thing. thing. David, what are you doing? I, I think you've been working out, thing. dude. I know. This it's... is all delts. You get here, you pinch it back, and you just, you, Wait, you that's try hard. it. See? I'll open a, I'll open a popsicle. Microwave the Rito. I want to snack on this. Wait, water. Oh God, I was filling a pot. I'm gonna play it for okay. the burrito. Here's a pot of water. The good news is it, it takes our water about 20 minutes to boil in this kitchen. So I got that going. I'm gonna pop a lid on this. Fun fact, if you ever want your water to boil faster, don't add salt to it. That's gonna delay the boiling process. Put a lid on it. David, I need a lid. Another fun fact, when we were outfitting this kitchen, I made us throw all the lids away for the pots. So I use mixing bowls as lids. Peas, peas we need to get in water. Eh. I'm gonna dump these in here. We're gonna need to puree these eventually. I don't okay. know exactly know what we're doing this. How's the pop school? It's really good. Can I eat from the bottom? No, it's unsafe. Mm, yeah, yeah, no. David, check on the chicken. We've got one minute left. One minute left? All right. What are... So we need to take the chicken. I need you to get me, let's do some like mise en place. Let's get some- Mise en place? Mise en place is French for to put in place. It means getting all your stuff organized when you're cooking. It's honestly a big part, even when you're just like cooking by yourself. They say if you got time to lean, you got time to clean. So if you're ever like not doing anything, say you're just like standing in the kitchen eating a popsicle or something stupid, that means you could be doing something useful. David! Oh, you're talking about me? We're gonna need to season up our chicken. Let's figure out, we got a whole jar of spices down here. So we got pepper, that's exciting. That's black pepper. Instant espresso, maybe, why not? Old Bay, no, 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 Coffee. white pepper, thyme. Get some herbs, get like any like herbs, things, fun stuff you got. Most spices kind of taste the same. Garlic powder, herbs, chipotle chili. I microwave these together. Ow. I hope Sticks these out. are defrosted. Ow! David, okay. I need you to take this burrito and uh, unroll it. What? Stop eating the I'm, popsicle. Mm, okay. Put the pot, or finish it. Just, I mean, do something. I'm gonna take the chicken you breast. You unroll it? It's already- it's Unroll already, it, David, get some... finger it and, and splay it. So we're getting the strawberry going. We have a pot of water, because we're gonna need to poach this chicken ballotine, and then we're gonna try and glaze it. David, can you grab me eggs, milk, and flour? I wanna try and make a batter with this pea puree. Also, David, I need you to fill a mixing bowl with ice and water, because we need to shock our peas. Okay. All right, we've pounded out all the chicken. I got some flour for you, too. Yeah, I love that for us. So if you see the popsicles in here, Turn into a pretty cool looking glaze. David, I need you to grab me balsamic vinegar. David, this is a mango burrito, brother. Where's the ice at? Josh, your freaking freezer does not have ice. All right, so I'm just gonna roll this up into a tube and you wanna try and make it as tight as possible here. And then I'm simply gonna take this, I'm gonna drop it into our water to poach. We got about 22 minutes. I think we're looking good on that. Oh God, there's a, David, you just dropped the popsicle on the counter? Would you do this in your own home? Yeah. Why, you, you slob, I know I your roommates. Laugh, sir. So I'm wrapping this up in plastic and what we're gonna do is what I'm gonna put this ice, into our water bath. David, I can't, I can't help you with everything. This is your kitchen. Wait, does he have ice? Where's the ice? We don't got ice, David, screw no, it, we cold water. Ice. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, be, no, you're no, fine, no, you're fine. No. The peas are in the cold water, they're okay. gonna get cold. That's, because what we're gonna be doing. That's dangerous. That's cooking, baby. Okay. Okay, so I have my chicken balance and this is wrapped up. It's unseasoned right now. So we're gonna drop that in the boiling water. That's gonna need to poach for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna hit it in the glaze. Right now I'm gonna add balsamic vinegar to this. I think we need to get working. Can I just watch one of vision? <laughs> Before we started, David was like, I'm gonna bring up WandaVision, I need you to be prepared. I'm like, David, I don't know what WandaVision is. I'm adding black pepper, balsamic vinegar to the strawberries. Can you crack two eggs into a bowl with about a half cup of milk? I think I'm gonna try and make pea crepes. Are these cold yet? No, David, you need to make those peas colder. I'm gonna add some like chili powder to this. I think I'm gonna try and make it a little bit spicy. How about I wash them? Salt, where's my salt? Salt, 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 and Pep is gonna sue us. All right, I'm gonna salt up this glaze. I'll have the cold water butter, run. butter, 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 butter. Butter's in the fridge. Made butter, of cows butter, butter. in the fridge, brother. Right. Josh, cheese looks like butter. Wisdom from David. I'm gonna take some butter. I'm just gonna. Josh, this is a very messy kitchen, dude. Yeah, you know, we were kind of like thinking that like we were gonna have to really press for time. As it turns out, cooking's pretty easy. Josh, tell me when. Where did we even get this bowl? We tell own this where? bowl. I uh, pour and I'll tell you when. Pour and I'll okay. tell you when. You're not washing. What's that? Yeah, I'm doing, I got the ADD. Uh, keep going, keep going. That's good, that's good, that's okay. good. Uh, that's probably too much. Crack another egg in there or drink some of the okay. milk. Okay, I don't want to drink milk with eggs. Drink the egg no, milk, David, no, make no. you strong. No, no, Rocky no, Four, he no. drinks the eggs. You want a no. bowl? Can you pop that into a blender? Oh, I don't have to whisk it? No, you don't have to whisk okay. it. You pop it into a blender. So I'm making this glaze right now, right? See, there's a lot of sugar in the strawberries. It's getting really thick. Anytime this happens, add a couple drops of water. 
It'll just sort of like loosen it back up. Damon, I need him a glaze looser. Oh my God. Damon, can you find me another vinegar? Leave it there. Rice vin, white vin, anything balsamic. If you're adding to sweet, balsamic's commonly paired with strawberries. Balsamic does have a lot of sugar in it. So I'm gonna hit it with more spice. That's more black pepper. And I'm gonna hit it with maybe a little bitter. I'm gonna go instant espresso. I got your rice vin. I see Nicole like, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm hitting it with a little bit of instant espresso. I'm gonna try and get some like real that. complexity yeah. in there. Uh, vinegar. A little bit of rice vin, and then a little bit of extra salt, and I think this should round it out. We're gonna continue that glazing. David, I need you to find a strainer and strain these peas off. And we're okay. gonna add the peas to this batter with flour and salt. And a little I'm bit just of gonna oil. do it by hand, because I know I can't strain find it. Each individual pea by hand. No pea left behind. And add some more spice. We got some chipotle in here. I think the smoky flavors are really gonna work well with all that acid. It's really good. We, uh, all the pots turned off again. Can you dump these peas into that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Wait, this is what you asked me to do, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Pea crepe, pea crepe. You know what, actually? I'm gonna dump some of the liquid out because I think we put too much liquid in there. We'll get to that later. Can you add this is very some flour to that? It's all getting cooked. There's like eggshells, there's like... Yeah, but this is all getting real clean it before we plate. All right, can you blend that together? So we're basically making like a crepe batter and then gonna add a little bit of oil on that. Oh, we're making crepes? We're making crepes, man. Oh, I like yeah, crepes. Yeah, how much time yeah. we got? How much time? 16, dude, we're golden, Pony Boy. We're golden. 16 minutes. Well, where's the salt? Where's the salt? Oh, God, glaze is burning. Glaze is burning. Should I blend this? She's burning the glaze. Yeah, yeah, blend okay, that. Okay. Blend that right now. We'll salt it later. I need to see what the consistency is with the flour and you should let crepe batter rest a little bit. Okay. Might be a little thin right now. I'd rather have it thinner than thicker. Oh, don't move the blender like that. Wait. Fire, fire. All right, we shut off. Right, right, right. yeah. You taste the peas a lot, which is really interesting. I think yeah. it's gonna cook okay. up into a crepe. We got this poaching. That's I'm gonna boiling pull water. This. Don't put I'm your hands in I'm gonna pull this with there. seven minutes left, David. Okay. Seven minutes, we pull the chicken. Glaze is done. What do we got? David, go find me some garnish. Find me some green stuff. What There's like a, a wall of green over problem? here. Like when I we're eating lunch fake, in here, though. like the mythical crew, and us, There's some we green never stuff. have vegetables in the fridge because we never cook with fresh vegetables. David, these are fake plants, buddy. David, you, this is Mike Paisley spent a long, Dirty P spent a long time making the fake plants look nice. 15 minutes left. I know, what am I doing with the fake plants in 15 minutes? Oh, Annalise, you want to cook these in 15 minutes? All right, so the chicken, ow! Chicken's cooking. I think that's looking pretty good. Pea crepes. I have all the green stuff in the fridge. Dave, we got, pan, um, pan, pan. All right, we got a pan. We got our glaze going. We got. These Ooh. are all the green stuff. Yeah, that I dude. Found. Yo, 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 slice this thin. We haven't cut anything today. Grab like no, a cutting yeah. board. I left the fridge open. That's bad. This is gross. Dude, there's a popsicle here. What are we doing? They say if you got time to lean, you got time to clean. Crepes. I got this pan heating. Did the pan turn off? It did not turn off yet. I'm just gonna hit some oil in that pan because you don't want the batter to get caught in the oil. I take a paper towel and I wipe it around. You could use Pam nonstick spray aka food loop, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put yeah, that in my mixing bowl real fast. This crepe batter is actually looking pretty good. I'm just gonna salt this up it's a little green bit. Co- green co- crap. It's a re- <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> green, green, green crap. crap. Oh, okay. uh, no, cutting board, cutting board, cutting board. Slice these jalapenos very, very thin. Uh, no, use the good knife, man. We got Where's the good knife. Knife. knife up here. Use the oh, good knife. Oh, okay. Where's the cutting board at? Can I just? Do oh, do we need a cutting board? Uh, wait, wait, wait. We label the drawers, but I, I don't know how to read. Well, 12 minutes, 12 minutes. I'm pulling a chicken in four minutes, David. I got to get these crepes made. We got the glaze going. That's looking good. Jalapenos, jalapenos. Slice them very thin. I'm going to take a little bit of this crepe batter. I'm going to take it. And if you see, put the batter in. Go, crepe batter, go. Mm. It's a bit thick. You might need to add a little bit more milk. Oh, I don't I don't know. I don't know about this. Oh, God, David, no. No, no, no. Grab it here. Let me, let me demo. Let me demo. Let me demo. Jalapenos got really thick skin, so you gotta start by slicing in, and then draw through. Slice in, draw through. I feel like nice. I was doing the same thing. David, add more milk to this crepe batter. There we go. We got some nice little jalapeno slices. There! Ah! Yeah! Blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. But now we gotta touch the crepe. How much time we got? 11 minutes, we're good. We're good. I'm gonna pull this. Ow, 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 ow. We're gonna let that rest here. I think it's looking good. I'm gonna put this in the freezer! David, five minutes left. We pull the balancing from the freezer. Keep an eye on that clock. Okay. Let's pull this, see where this is at. Try pea crepe, it's a little hot. Oh, oh, you are not kidding on that. That's pretty good. Your, your fingers are just like broken, is that what it is? Like you can't feel heat anymore? Dead. Dead, yeah. Dead to the world. Audible, Omaha! I don't trust the crepes right now, we're going pea waffle. There's this white powder, I don't know if it's baking powder or not. David, blend this, blend this, blend it. Okay. Blend it, blend it. Josh, oh my God, oh what my happened? God. Ooh, I might just broke the blender. Yeah, yeah, that happened. All right, we got. A little chicken thing. I'm gonna hit it in a pan. David, butter. Give me some butter. Yeah, that's good. It's got some jalapenos. Just throw the butter in there. Throw the butter in there. Throw the butter in there. Yeah, yeah, just wipe it. There we yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. We got a lot of butter in there. Now we're just gonna sear off our chicken. We got seven minutes, dude. We're golden. We're golden. How, how's this batter looking? How's the batter? That's looking? Perfect. That's perfect. That's throw perfect. Throw that in the right waffle, maker. Right waffle maker. Lube up the waffle maker. We got a waffle maker? Yeah, dude, we got a waffle maker. Yeah, waffle. You got waffle makers at home, right? What's the pam? Where's the, we're just. Waffle maker, do it. I got it. All right, we got our chicken going. David, how's that chicken looking? I'm gonna chop more jalapeno. Josh, I think Chicken's you need more going. spice in your life. Yeah. There you go. Butter's burnt. That's okay. We waited to season this for the last moment. Okay, okay, we got salt on it. Maybe, maybe a little Italian seasoning. Come on. 
Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Oh God, switch it out. We got this glaze right here. We're gonna take the chicken. That's gonna go directly in the glaze. Is this cooking? Pea waffles! That looks pretty. We got pea waffles. Wait, we got the chicken. That's gonna, that's gonna burn if you put it burrito. No, no. just fine, David. Don't judge it. That's perfect. Why are these jalapeno spicy? I'm gonna get a little bit more rice in there. Give it a little douse. Actually, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of water. David, grab me a spoon. Grab me a spoon. Grab me a spoon. We got six minutes. I should have. Uh, before we did that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and break, Boons. We break no, the fourth wall down here a little bit. We were like, we want this to be as natural as possible. Let's not plan anything out. But I also forgot that I don't like know where anything is. I've spent three years here. I've spent like 10 hours a day for three years in this kitchen that like I set up. And I don't know where anything is. So I'm gonna reduce this glaze a little bit more. Normally you do this with a spoon. I, I know, but Chicken's like there's apart. no spoons. Waffle, oh God, it's burning. I told you it was burning. Oh, it's stop, you gotta stop. David, you, you gotta, I no, will no, never no, no, stop. No, 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 no. Look gotta, at me! You gotta swear to me! All right, so we got a waffle dunk. You grab like a plate. I'm concerned with, about your hands. I'll ah, you... probably put it back. Can you get me a plate? If I can find them, yes. Yeah. Do you know where the plates are? Uh, I think like check up there. Check up there. Check up there. Here's the thing. Here's... Oh, five minutes left, Elisa. So we got the chicken. We got this stuff to the burrito. Please. We're gonna take this, and I'm just gonna let it rest. This has just only had raw garnish on it. We're fine. I'm gonna try and uh, yeah, that didn't work as well as I thought it would. But you know, I think it's pretty exciting. So uh, we're gonna keep the glaze here. And we're gonna let that rest. Yeah, we got more minutes. I feel confident. People are saying WandaVision is a. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, David, tell uh, us about WandaVision. You know, it's uh, there's so much stuff. Elizabeth going on. Olsen. Elis um, is that who she is? I think yeah, so. I think so, yeah. Paul Bettany? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was in a great movie called Wimbledon with uh, Kirsten Dunst. He's British. He's British. Also played Jeffrey Chaucer in uh, A Knight's Tale, the best sports movie of all time. That's not a Marvel movie. I think technically A Knight's Tale was in the Marvel universe. Well, I don't think so. I think it technically was, because if you look at it, you got Pulp. Actually, I had this theory that 13 going on 30 is technically a Marvel movie. Care to explain? Yeah, so I mean, you think like, <laughs> right, she like goes back in time, or like she can mess with the space-time continuum because right. of that magic dust that fell on her yeah, at her birthday party. I think that's, that's I think a time stone. Terrigen dust. Terrigen? What's a terrigen dust? I don't know, you tell me, you said that. I'm gonna cut the waffle in like okay, fancy yeah. little triangles. I think it's gonna look pretty cool, huh? Three minutes! I want a kind of like bed of waffles uh -huh, uh -huh. for like the chicken ballotine to it's sort like of go That's like the pillows, on. yeah? Yeah, yeah, the pillows yeah. essentially, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make more waffles. Yeah, make some waffles, dude. David, at this point, you, you do you. I'm try and get as clean a slice as I can out of this thing, with ab which absolutely worked. We got this cooked, almost. Oh, I'm glad you found it out before we- Deep fryer! Zap it in the microwave. Microwave it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David, 40, wait, no, no, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slice it and then microwave it. Sure. Ow! I feel it now, David. Feel it now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what pain. Yeah, hold on, like. hold on, hold on. It's the pain of defeat. David, microwave that 45 seconds. Okay. I'm gonna eat the burrito from the insides. 45 seconds? We have we one minute, minute left. 38 seconds, who cares? I will do 30 seconds. Gives us 30 seconds to plate. Uh-huh. Is that it? I will say the burrito cooked multiple times inside the chicken, not great. But we did it and I'm excited about it. We elevated it. Damn, grab it, grab it, it's done, it's done. It hasn't beeped yet. David, pick me some good parsley. 42 seconds. The chicken is steaming. I think that's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Now what is what we call damage control. Okay. 30 seconds. Oh, oh the waffle's 30 seconds. We got a giant clock over here, I know. I'm sorry, Annalise, I'm not lashing out at you. I'm lashing out at me. Um, David, go okay. start arranging jalapenos around it. No, David, no. That's what, that's what, no. the, that's what the, the salt guy Golly. does. Golly! Salt Bay, you piece of crap again. Thwarted by Salt Bay. How much time? One. Oh God, oh, it's on the plate, it's on the plate, it's on the plate. Oh, uh, Well, we did it. For better or worse, 30 minutes have elapsed. The dish is done. I'm proud of several things in my life. This thing might be one of them, but are you ready to try it? I'm proud I'm here with you. And yes, I'm ready to hear, I'm ready to try it. Let's do it. All right, David, here we have our chicken ballotine with the strawberry balsamic glaze and pea waffles. This is the first time you're not screaming at me today. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was a you high pressure screaming. That was a lot of screaming. And I owe you a sincere apology. I want to say that you did really great, though. I mean, you, you know, yeah, you can see you. the difference in like a jalapeno garnish that I cut versus yeah. the one that you cut. But uh, otherwise, I think we worked great as a team. Next time, I promise you, I'll screen less. This is the part where I judge now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, judge. But I mean, like, you know, we're not, like, it's not a competition. I think go in with an open heart and an yeah. empty stomach and let me know if you feel like this is something that you can at least take some ideas away from to turn into your everyday life. Okay, shall we start? Yes, now, we how, shall. Now, how would you, how would you eat this? Would you eat like a layer of waffle? I think take some waffle, take some chicken with yeah. the burrito inside, sort of swipe it in some of the glaze. I wish we would've gotten more glaze on the plate. I'm gonna get uh, the saucy Cleanse your palate with the jalapeno yeah. in, in between. All right, let's dig in. What are you tasting? Give me your tasting notes, give me your tasting notes. The peas. Mm -hmm. You didn't taste them. You didn't taste the peas, but. Which is good. Exactly. Which is good. You're getting vegetables. Imagine you're like yeah. feeding a kid. Imagine like you found a child on the right. street and you brought them into your home and you need to feed them vegetables. You gotta feed kids vegetables. They don't even know they're eating waffles. They're just eating waffles. The chicken, they're cooked. The chicken is cooked. That was a concern cooked. for yep. a while. The burrito inside for me, 
I don't know if it's working for the chicken. Oh, I didn't even taste the burrito. <laughs> That's good. Kids, you get a strange yeah. kid off the street, comes to your yeah. home, you gotta feed him burritos, you hide him inside chicken. I mean, the chicken and the glaze, the popsicle glaze is really fantastic. The, I'm, I, I'm, I'm surprised you were able to, to use the, the popsicle and, and made uh, a dinner out of it. And the waffles to me. Savory. Yeah, right? Yeah. The waffles are a really great idea. I mean, you can infuse any batter with any vegetable that mm -hmm. you have. And like, this is a fun way. I mean, these are like really normal ingredients that you probably have in your freezer. <laughs> you, you did have in your freezer. You can like transform them into something completely like outlandish. That's just yeah. like super fun. It's actually pretty good. I will finish this. Gavin, do you feel empowered? Uh, after you yell at me a lot? Yeah, I feel super empowered. <laughs> Tony Robbins has made hundreds of million dollars by screaming at strangers. If he can do it, I can at least make 10 bucks screaming at David. And now that's the nickel and dime spirit. David, thank you so much for joining me and being my sous chef, and thank you for letting us raid your freezer. I will Venmo you 378 for this. Thank you for cooking me lunch. Thank you so much for stopping by Mythical Kitchen. Oh Stop with God. the air horn! Annalise, what are you doing? We got new uh, episodes. I can't think with the air horn every week on the YouTube channel that you're on. New episodes of our podcast. Kitchen. Podcast, a hot dogs and sandwich every Wednesday. Where I think they're gonna do it again. Every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcast, hit us up on Instagram at Mythical Kitchen. Pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag Dreams Become Food. Does, it, does the air horn run out of gas eventually? I think so. I think I gotta refuel it. Now I'm scared. Bye. You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen apron. Available now at mythical.com.